In today's video, a one owner 10 a powered Savannah that is going to blow minds. And at the end of the video, I'm going to sneak in some other interesting related cars that uh, haven't made it to a Wasabi Cars video as yet. So do stick around for that. And I think I feel a giveaway coming on. Following question of the day, which I'll announce later, the response which tickles my fancy gets a sticker. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady. Thank you so much for joining me, seriously. And today's car is a 1973 10A powered, as mentioned, Mazda Savannah GS2. I do know a few more bits and pieces about the car which I'll get into shortly and I should point out that this is a car I've seen on three occasions between 2015 and 2018. We're dealing with old footage here so there is nothing GoPro about it at all. And with that at top of mind we've got to go over to the Iron Chef After Hours page where I posted this and Daniel Stephenson asks if I did a video, I hope so because I can't wait to watch it in two years. That's, that's exactly how it is. Actually, it's worse. This one's three years, and I still think I'm doing pretty well. So, people, before we dive in, initial thoughts, what do you think? Like, what's jumping out at you? Like, do you need to see Simmons on it? Is it 2JDM? What's the deal? Let me know. You know, I did not interview the owner of this car, so I have precious few facts, but the facts I do have truly deliver. Hear me out. This car is a one-owner car. And since being bought in 1973, what a year by the way, this car has traveled just 30,000 kilometers and been maintained meticulously as you can obviously see. It was of course bought from a local dealership, that being Mazda Auto in Kitakyushu. And there's a sticker to that effect just right there. And if you factor in the information I dropped in the last GS2 video I did, the 1971 one, this thing is just so crazily rare you just would not believe it because when i attended jamboree in southeast queensland a few years back i saw more rx2s rx3s there than i have ever seen in japan like in one day in brisbane more rx2s and threes than i have ever seen in japan japan does not value these old cars well i guess they value the few they have now but it's it's just horrific, people. You've got no idea, and I still regularly get requests, Oh, I want to buy an old rotor. And I'm like, mate, not from Japan. Yeah, so I really wanted to just change the air there. And now it's time to get excited because the interior of this car is something that is truly a sight to behold. We can sort of glimpse it going past the closed windows, but I have some good news. I have a whole lot more to show you. First off, I've got to thank Danny Irvine from Automotive Plus who supplied me with some additional photos. The resolution was so great, I swear he must have friends with access to Hubble. Uh, the resolution was insane. The file sizes were massive, but uh, worth it for the interior shots of this car. Look at those seats, the blue, the intense blue, the houndstooth inserts, the frickin' bedazzled rings down the middle there. It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, it's still got plastic on the doors. Everything's in tip-top shape. There are just two things. A pair of boots, if you will. The, uh, the gear stick boot is in rough shape, as is the, uh, the handbrake boot. It's just a bit rough, you know, but otherwise, this thing is utterly spectacular and the back seats are looking spectacular even with that freaking plastic coating they've got on them i mean there's something just so special about that it's like christmas morning and it's wrapped and you want, and you just want to look at the wrapping it's it's amazing and do not think of going anywhere there are two very important things to go one is i'll be showing a car or cars relating to today's feature car that did not get their own video that damn well should have and the other one is question of the day where your answer will determine whether you get a Wasabi Cars sticker. Yeah, call it a giveaway, I guess. So the question is, you've got a time machine, you can go back in time and pluck a recently bought car off the street. Let's not call it stealing. You know what I'm saying? Preserving. But what's the car? Be as specific as possible. Now, for example, in my case, it could be a 1972 Holden HQSS, let us alone is the color 
and and there's nothing more to say basically but do tell me yours in the comments below and the car I'll be leaving with you today is this 1976 Savannah rotary wagon the condition is absolutely spectacular I saw it briefly when I was driving home from the Mazda uh, museum. I didn't get video footage of the front of the car because I was, you know, up in people's businesses and that's not cool. But I could not leave without my 10 second video clip and a few photos. It was just amazing. Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. I hope you've subscribed if you haven't already. Drop by store.wasabicars.com for stuff. Uh, ring the bell. you got to ring the bell, everyone. Love you all. See you next Saturday. Goodbye.